scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Whenever we talk about faith, it is simply the vehicle that gives the word of God expression. And I'll just charge us a little. It's important for us to know that the word of God can be trusted. The scripture that we read, this Bible, look up please. This Bible that we read, the Bible says it was inspired of the Holy Ghost. Are we together? Holy men wrote it as they were moved by the Spirit. So regardless of the imperfection of the translators, regardless of the imperfection of the writers, the sovereignty of God still vetoes their imperfection. And makes this word capable of producing results when believed and acted upon are we together your faith every time in scripture Jesus would challenge the faith of the recipients Jesus never told anyone you have asked a hard thing it was Elijah who told his son in the gospel you have asked a hard thing it is possible but Jesus will only ask them, Believest thou, thy faith has given this to you. Let me give you a very interesting definition of faith that I got from Bishop Oedipo. Uh, this, this is one of his most recent definitions and it is absolutely powerful. This is what he said. Faith is sharing responsibilities with God in the light of his word so as to get your desired result. Faith is sharing responsibilities with God as defined or in the light of his word so as to get your desired result. Shared responsibility. Shared responsibility. There is a path to your miracle. Listen please. That depends on God. That is exclusively left to his wisdom and power and sovereignty but there is a path to the delivery and the manifestation of your miracle that depends on an operation you must do so many believers want to receive from God listen please we come to God but we approach God as though approaching an idol hoping that he will perform some magic no there are spiritual dynamics to reception your faith your faith your faith your faith we have a series on that and we're going to start that series next week i'm going to be sharing with you some deep dynamics about faith because it's important for us to get results results are predictable say it after me one more time results are predictable there is there is a there is a technology there is a system of predictability to results that's why we're gathered here tonight we're not gathered to some kind of haphazard trial and error i know you will be blessed i know you will be healed it's not pride it's the truth there is a formula for this i know your life will change i know that demon will live your life forever I know you will walk out of here with breakthrough that will bring tears to your eyes but there is a system 
there is a system please brothers and sisters imagine imagine for one minute that you go to the hospital listen you go to the hospital with your pregnant wife about to give birth and the doctor tells you that look this name doctor is just there oh, let me just confess i'm not exactly sure let's trust god and see what will happen and your wife is crying and saying i'm losing my life how would you love such a doctor and you ask him who gave you that title that you put in front of your name because the title is an implication are we together the title is an implication the title means you were certified the title means you went through rigorous seasons that trained your mind to be intelligent on that wise now that's when when god names a meeting is an implication if he calls it a miracle service it means he sat down and searched within himself if he had the power to back up that name god never speaks until he looks at himself and finds out whether it is within his ability to back up what he has said if he called it a miracle service then that is a miracle service indeed it has never been about the inability of god to step into people's lives please listen there is no case represented here today that is above and beyond the power of god to step in no you would be lying are we together you know sometimes the mountains that stand before us and trust me i'm human there are mountains that can stand before people but you see that mountain remains only as big as your inability to trust god makes it look there are mountains it says time will fail me to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms not cities kingdoms so the foundation the foundation please listen the foundation for biblical faith is an encounter with the word of god you must find out what he has said about the issue of concern that is step one to commit him more on that during the faith series but it is important you have no right to lay any claims on anything you have not searched out because god limits himself to the provisions that his word can afford hear me whatever the word of god can afford god can provide it did you hear me whatever the word of god can afford god can pay for it whatever the word of god can afford it is within the sovereign power of god to pay for it your first assignment is to find out i've been barren for eight years they said i have no fallopian tube thank you doctors but they are practicing and you come to the word of god and check and then the bible says your marriage shall be a blessing it says your children not even a child surround your table now the next thing is whose report will you believe are we together the trouble is we do not meditate on the word to a point of restful persuasion restful persuasion but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded you don't read the bible like a novel no the entrance of your word eventually as you pay attention to the word let me tell you i know what i'm saying believe me when you study scripture with all your heart an activity of the holy ghost begins to happen from those letters through your eyes into your spirit from those letters through your eyes through your ears into your spirit he says so then faith comes by hearing and understanding by the word of god it's not just hearing it's not just seeing when you discover the promises the prophecies 
the provision your next assignment is to meditate upon the word to get to a point of restful persuasion persuasion that says if i perish i perish but i found it i found my bailout i found it oh they say i must uh, this and that and that and that i cannot have a child i've tried i've been having miscarriages oh men of god have prayed for me they are not herbalist get to the word get to the word father this is your word i commit you prophet isaiah in chapter 38 moved by the holy ghost went to hezekiah and said put your house in order you will not recover from this sickness isaiah was a major prophet when a major man of god with a track record speaks to you it's almost like a done deal but a man used the word of god to change prophecy ah, the words you speak turn things help me that the word of god can veto any prophecy any enchantment any pronouncement yes they said it but i change it yes they said everybody in my family is ss but i found a provision there is a bailout mystery i can't die as i can't die ss it is within my power to change it let me tell you there is nobody that prophesies a nonsense destiny to me i have worked with god enough to know that the keys are in the hands of a man hezekiah turned his face and said oh god remember my sacrifices is it not your word that 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 says how that they that give you know paraphrasing that he will remember you in the day of trouble and remember your sacrifice i have given to your house why should i die like a chicken no assumption you must bring your strong reasons no assumption you assume you will die like a chicken you must bring your your strong reason don't say even god knows as i hear you say as i hear you say many believers want things to happen let me tell you something faith is hard work are you hearing what i'm saying you've got to find it and sit down until the word of god superimposes your doubt i know there is a rent of five hundred thousand to pay the rent is not in the spirit the landlord is alive i know i know statistics says that there are no jobs in nigeria i know there is recession in nigeria but when you find it in the world now listen when you find it in the word and meditate let me tell you what meditation does here's how you know you are finished meditating you are finished meditating the moment you discover your role when you discover the part you have to play you have finished your meditation you meditate until you find it good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life not will you give me what is my part good master what is my part lord what is my part to be healed oh god will you heal me that's wrong prayer that's immature spiritual communication what is my role it is within your power good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life and jesus didn't say no 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 eternal life is cheap no as cheap as salvation is there is still a role you have to play are we together it says the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in thy mouth even the word of faith which we preach right that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10 he says and believe with thy heart that god raised him from the dead he said thou shalt be saved for with the heart it says man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto soteria salvation not just new birth unto health unto everything hallelujah your meditation has not finished 
if you cannot leave that place knowing you're part of the deal there must be your commitment oh lord what is the secret to end circles of failure it's like as soon as i'm recovering from one i'm finding another and then you search in god's word who suffered like me what is the key lord nothing is working in my life no job no marriage no money no peace what should i do oh there are enemies in my life how do i deal with them i've prayed and then the holy ghost takes you to psalms 149 let the high praise of god be in their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon their nobles and to bind their kings with the fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment that is written it says this honor has all the saints ah so my praise is a weapon of warfare this is my own part you shut your door and you begin to praise god like a madman and when you praise god like a madman all of a sudden you put pressure on his integrity the moment you act let me tell you god is not committed to delivering any promise in your life if you have not acted upon it having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete praise the lord so what is your part tonight number one your part is to believe god your part is to believe god don't allow science medicine the intellect to bring you to a point where you now start calculating and say okay now let's be real i know that i have a fibroid i touched it and i felt it is it really going to disappear and you now begin to think the question you have to think is how did it come were you born with it did you swallow it and it went there so how did it come you never question how it grew to be that big but now you are questioning how it to be shrink how it will shrink and disappear we have been trained in an environment that stimulates unbelief you mean i can complete that house by the end of the year haba this is october we've not even gotten to lintel level the last person who would have blessed me just said guy nigeria is hot hot for who don't don't generalize this thing let's be sincere enough persuasion i believe god oh. i believe god that's why we're ministering listen when you find what god has said commit him throw away your ego throw away your fears and commit god the bible says listen listen to what it says it says in my name they shall cast out devils that's what we are going to do shortly he said it we believe it and so we have the effrontery to gather you and to release a platform for the world to listen and we give them an assurance based on what based on his integrity that's why we have a worship team what's the assignment to create the atmosphere for his presence to make manifest because when his presence is here then we know that we have committed him brothers and sisters i want you to come to a point of restful assurance throw away that doubt you know some of you hear what i'm saying and most people when they hear preachers talking like this they look at their dressing they look at everything and say it's not your fault it's because you are enjoying as if the person was born like that apostle is because you don't know the fire that drove me from home to come here believe me i don't care what it is if god cannot solve your problem then we have found a reason for him to not be god but i believe god previous miracle services it did not happen another word for faith is persistence another word for faith is persistence you will never never stop persisting and claim you have faith no sir elijah prayed and asked his servant go and check he said there's nothing he would have said ah god i called down fire once what is this one is it that i'm backsliding he didn't even have time to ask that question restful assurance he went back to pray 
seven times and he saw the cloud like the feast of a man and he told Ahab he said saddle your ass and run I hear the sound of the abundance of rain there are people here tonight trusting God for miracles in your body there are people here who do not even know what is wrong with their situation you are welcome who else will you run to let me just say something when I was when I was meditating and preparing this little exhortation the Lord said the following things to me and I just want us to write it down just three of them quickly number one your action commits my integrity your action not your conviction your action your action at the point of action that's when my integrity is committed so you can believe and not see results faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction faith is not the conviction the conviction leads to faith faith is the action are we together yeah so i look at pastor femi for instance come femi i look at pastor femi for instance and let's assume he's trusting god to heal him maybe of chest pain look at this now he comes out and hands are laid on him and he just looks and he's angry at the next person because he's saying you did allow them lay hands very well it's not the it's not how much hands are laid on you you see somehow we have this understanding You can say i have chest pain and just a touch and then they go and, and you are wondering ah, ah. you would have stayed and touched and gone around and done this now your mind thinks because time is being spent on you it means god is saying something no no the miracle listen the miracle is in your faith it happens at the speed of faith it happens at the speed of faith this guy can have all kinds of tumors and just a touch in fact sometimes it may not even be a touch just your faith like there are people now already who are healed they don't know it's just because you can't go to the hospital it says and as they spake as peter spake these words unto them the holy ghost fell on all day that had him thank you thank you very much are we together it's your faith don't come here and be careless and just sit down no Assuming there's somebody you brought here, for instance, who, was, who is deaf, maybe on one ear or both ears, and now it's time to pray. And as we are praying, and you're just standing, you're watching the person. Oh, in the name of Jesus, if there's any deaf person here, be healed. And you look at him, and you're wondering, ah, this guy, let me concentrate on myself. That guy will never be healed. He's going to go out like that. Because number one, you are embarrassed to take an action step because you don't want to put your hands in his ears and inform him and say they're about to pray i'll check you your ego is telling you guy don't do this if you put your hands on his ears and you pray and you check him if it doesn't happen you will turn with your shame and hold him there that's exactly why the person will walk back and not be healed are we together they mention is a case and it looks like an embarrassing case you've been healed Go and check yourself and you are wondering. You are sitting down there and wasting your time. And then you run later after service. And you come and say, hey, Jimmy, sorry, oh, don't be embarrassed. Do you know that when you were mentioning somebody with pile, it's me, oh, I, I, you saw me, Abby? Just quickly pray for me. You are joking. Because you see, the result is waiting for action immediately. Please, get this thing. The Lord told me this that I should tell us. Your action commits my integrity. As they went, he said, go and show yourself to the priest. As they went, as they went, as they went. The woman said to herself with the issue of blood, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. Do you know if she just stopped there talking with herself, she would have gone back home with her issue of blood. But then after speaking, she still pressed. At the point she did it, there was a miracle. Number two, this is the second thing God told me. And 
I don't want to believe this applies to koinonia. Let me be wrong at least. But I don't want to believe this applies to koinonia. But I believe this applies to other people. This is what God told me. Stop mixing God and any other God like traditional gods, native doctors. That's why I say I don't believe this applies to koinonia. But I think that this is the unbecoming of the church in Africa. On Sunday, you are with God. Are we together? On Monday or Tuesday, you now quickly run to your village and they tell you there's somebody. The guy is not exactly a herbalist. He's not exactly a pastor. He just has this gift. You cannot mix. Let me tell you something God has said. Give us Psalm 16. Psalm 16 verse 4. Give us verse 4. Psalm 16 verse 4. I want you to read the A part. One to read. Their sorrows shall be multiplied. That do what? That hasten after another God. That's what I was looking for. What will happen to them? Their sorrow. It will look, let me tell you, please hear me. I've never gone to a herbalist, but I've ministered to plenty of people who have gone to them. You will never get a sustainable result from a herbalist. But it's my father that said we should go as a family. Well, I know that there is a limit to which you can control that. But I'm telling you, you can insist and refuse. The Bible says there are sorrows. I know what I'm saying. In Africa, many people who say, oh, these people, they are just young people. They don't know what they are saying. The Bible says their sorrows shall be multiplied. That do what? That hasten after another God. So you have something he tells you to put in your pocket before you sleep. I don't care whether they ask you to read Psalm 1 or read Psalm 100. For as long as there is a genie and a charm in your pocket and you put all kinds of things and you have to get up, do something demonic, the man is telling you, go and buy a goat. Are we together? You buy a goat, they slaughter it, they turn the blood and they say it's done. Just be praying. Just because he said just be praying does not mean it was of God. Amen. I have discovered, let me tell you something. I have discovered that most people run to God as a last resort. You go to a doctor. If a doctor does not work, then maybe you go to a few men of God here and there. After they all jump and gyrate and nothing happens, somebody will just tell you, sorry, I wanted to advise you, but... You know, I don't want you to think I'm a bad person. But if you are serious, I can take you somewhere. You see yourself going to Zaria City. I said, don't be afraid though. That's how the man's face is. That, run away. Run. That's how it is. You go there. The, before any discussion, you are dropping consultancy fee. You know, I've told you here, Koinonia, hear me. Money and miracles don't go hand in hand. Bring money. Let me pray for you. You can sow a seed expecting a miracle. You can be challenged to commit yourself. But where somebody says, the price for this pregnancy is 25000 And I'm just doing it for you and your wife. If you ever get pregnant, it was the mercy of God. Remember when the gentleman saw the apostle with the power to lay hands on the sick and he offered money. What did he tell him? He said, your money perish with you for you think you will buy the gift of God. It's not for sale. It's priceless. So stop mixing God and witch doctors. You cannot mix God and witch doctor. Are we together? If you depend on God, depend on him. If you depend on a herbalist, depend on him. But don't mix them. You know, one time I was counseling a very dear, a dear lady who, now this is by no means being sarcastic on any family. But I was counseling a lady who told me that she went somewhere and they gave her razor to eat. Razor. And to her shock, it didn't injure her razor like sharp razor you bring out gillette razor and now open your mouth throw it in 
she was scared to death but i tell you she broke that thing finished it and swallowed it no sign of blood they are mediums right they are mediums i can guarantee you that lady's life will never be the same from that day now the challenge with this kind of people is they just come and say ah now i will never be involved in those kind of things again lord my hands are washed they think that's all to it they think they are free so somebody says i want to get married to you two weeks he says i don't know what is wrong but the day i said i'll get married to you somebody warned me and say if i catch you near my wife again so the person gets up and says i don't want trouble and before you know it the lady is 40 41 no marriage she loves god she's serious are we together now but she believes that everything is or no it's not just like that too. that's why god puts meetings like this to set people free i don't know what your challenge is tonight but i want you to know that the god of all flesh is in this place tonight will be a night the lord spoke to me and i said it to us that it will be a night of massive freedom and deliverance there are there are people honestly who are going to stay on this thing and force some spirits to get out of the lives of people i learned early in life that spirits are behind the sufferings of people never confuse physical conditions with the influences of spirit they may manifest as different things but i give you a guarantee there are spirits behind them you are not just being hated for nothing you are only one out of seven billion people what makes people hate you everywhere you go they hate you there is a spirit it says for as a body without a spirit is dead there must be a spiritual cause for that physical problem and tonight in the name of jesus christ whatever will not let you go must leave you there are people carrying all kinds of plagues of bad luck and disfavor hear me as i'm speaking to you do you know it's not everybody you see suffering that is lazy or bad or unserious there are well-meaning people but these powers just sit on your destiny and say we will not go because it does not take discussion it takes the power of god to put them where they belong are we together there are some of us who have never experienced the favor of god you have had it in the lives of people you have clapped for other people but you've not seen it in your life if your uncle or your father or your mother is not there to help you you think you are finished because in your mind every time you are praying and say god visit me what you mean is please oh god help Ejimi to be the one to visit me but when that favor is on your life and those demons clear off the way you'll be surprised here people saying three jobs three jobs waiting for someone at this time now the question i want to ask you before we pray is you came with a challenge but do you believe do you believe that god can give you a testimony that's my first question no 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 no. don't answer me do you believe please don't 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 just assume you know what i'm saying i'm speaking from my heart you're seated outside you're seated in the overflow you are following online maybe in another nation or in another place do you believe that god can step in that's number one number two do you believe that god can step in now it's one thing to believe god will step in but do you believe god can step in now or are you saying oh god my eyes cannot see well but even if it's one that starts seeing i'm grateful you see it looks like his faith but it's not faith it's just an advanced form of unbelief lord i hold on to you i don't know what you will do with me tonight but i believe you and every instruction that comes i believe are we together when prayers when we're about to pray and we tell you every spirit that is disturbing anybody you don't just stand and, and you are waiting for somebody to be shouting and falling or you are waiting for yourself to fall no your heart is open you are praying time to release your prayer request 
You don't just tell the ushers, let me drop my own. And you drop it as if it's... No. You are dropping it and waving it goodbye. And saying, I dropped it because you will never return to me. Listen, there is an attitude. The miracle is in the attitude. Not just in the act, the attitude. Lord, as I drop this request, I wave you goodbye. I cannot drop it and write it again next year. Next, next, next month. Are we together? You are coming here trusting God for an impartation and an anointing. You don't sit down carelessly. You are listening carefully. As the word of God is coming, your spirit is open. And that you believe that by the time the grace is shared, I'm walking out of here a different person. Are we together? You came here sick. Oh God, this sickness. I've been praying about it, but today, let me tell you, do you know you can decide the day of your miracle? Mm -hmm. The woman with the issue of blood said today. Jacob held on to the angel, right? And said, I won't let you go. He would have let him go and say, okay, the next time you come, just inform me. You can make it today. When I was praying for this meeting, I said, God, I have one request. Please let everyone that comes here believing return with a testimony. That was my prayer for you. I've done my own part and the grace, the grace to produce the miracle you need by the grace of God is available. The mercy of God is here to help you. Your part is to believe God enough and respond in faith. Are we together? Every part of the meeting, God is going to do a quick work right now. But I want you to believe. Please be tired of where you are. Oh God, from January till now, I've not moved forward. I have to be sincere with myself. Give me an encounter that by now, between now and October miracle service, let me return with tears of joy in my eyes. There are two kinds of tears a man can cry. Tears of sorrow and tears of joy. It says you have turned my mourning into dancing. Everything I'm telling you to do is what I'm doing myself. Don't think I just came here empty handed. I came here with my heart full of expectation. I mentioned my own request before God and cried my heart to him. So I, I'm only a vessel, but I'm also a benefactor. Because by and large, I will still listen to this message and I will receive every prophetic word. The trouble with us is you may think I'm a worker. Oh, I'm, I'm protocol. I'm media. I am a minister. I am this and not receive. You see how the leaders in this house, whenever they are here, they forget about anything and everybody's heart is open. That's, that's the attitude. Are we together? Don't sit down arguing and say, Madam, how are you? How do you feel? That's not your business. Focus on what God is doing and insist. The devil, in these kinds of meetings, hear me, Satan waits strategically for those whose hearts will not listen to the word. They are the kinds who will go back and their situations will be worse than it is because you see, when these demons and these spirits leave, they have to search for a life for continuity. And you can't stand neutral. There are others who come here. There are probably people sitting inside and outside. You were invited, but your heart is already here cynical. Will God really bless them? All these men of God serve and all this, their nonsense talk. You see, that kind of attitude will not give you a miracle. Don't come to God passively. You must come to him intentionally. Are we together? How many of us are ready to walk out of here with a real miracle? How many of us believe there is a place in the word of God for your case? You believe your case is not new. There is a place for the word of God. How many of you believe that it is within the power of God to wipe your tears and give you a testimony? And how many of you are ready to place a demand by faith? Please jump up on your feet and begin to pray. Rise up on your feet and begin to pray. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Whether you are inside, outside, I place a demand. Online, I place a demand. On your integrity, I place a demand. On your favor, I place a demand. 
on your wisdom i place a demand are you praying Lord, I've been doing ministry with no anointing. I've been struggling in ministry. But I place a demand that I will encounter something, an unction, a grace that will change my life. Lord, my business has refused to grow. Everything I've tried to do is not working. But tonight, I place a demand. Lord, I'm tired of this genotype issue. I'm tired of this genotype issue. Lord, I'm tired of this barrenness issue. I'm tired of high blood pressure. I'm tired of pile. I'm tired of eye problem. I'm tired of using crutches. I'm tired of poverty. Living from hand to mouth. Tired of failure, tired of defeat. Change my story. Change my story. Change my story. Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. I want you to take two minutes. You are going to cry for your family and say, Lord, as I stand here, I represent an altar it's not just me alone the angel of your presence must enter my house tonight lift your voice and pray 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 oh god of heaven step into my family step into my family and that cause and that bondage the plague of death in my family bring it to an end the plague of hardship nobody has a job in my family and it all God nobody is gainfully employed nobody is born again aside from me step in oh God step in oh God nobody is making progress People are just getting old. Nothing is moving. Change my story. The words you speak complete around your house. Pray, pray, pray. Of me, baby, you took away. point listen listen the last prayer point he said give us this day this day not tomorrow lord give me this day breakthrough give me this day promotion mention everything you want and say lord today my faith is for today if your faith says yes god will not say no if your faith says yes God will not say no. Lift your voice and cry. Give me this day healing for my body. Give me this day a new anointing. Give me this day an encounter with the spirit of wisdom. Give me this day direction for the next level of my life. Break it 
Take the bone that are on the Macosa. Take the Macosa. In other Macosa. Are they Tapaya? Hey, Tony and Macosi. Ipa. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is giving me one more prayer point. Don't be tired of praying. Prayer helps you release your faith. Listen. Hold on, please. Listen. Amen. Listen. I want you to pray with all your heart. I told you there are spirits behind every situation. Hear me. I want you to pray in one minute that any spirit behind your seat, leave the situation alone. Don't worry. Don't mention, leave the headache. Leave what? That the spirit behind it I like you to pray and declare that as God's prophetic word comes from here, that spirit is under arrest, is on fire, and it must leave. Hey. Lift your voice and pray. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit behind it. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit. The spirit behind failure. The spirit behind delay. I Hallelujah. The devil is in trouble tonight. Rise up, everybody. Rise up everybody. I tell you I'm angry my spirit. Rise up everybody. We have to pray. Somebody has got to walk out with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place. Bring them out. Somebody has got to walk out of this place. With a testimony, it must be over today. 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 It must be over. There is enough grace, brothers and sisters, to step into your situation. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands, everyone. There is authority in this place, not just power. There is a difference between power and authority. There is authority in this place. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Sabarato kapari kete bashala bakaria da badada. The Lord is asking me to pray in tongues for two minutes. Hear me. And while I pray in tongues, me. While I pray in tongues, I want you to bring all those under the anointing. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Father, let your word go forth. I put the word of God on my prayer. Inside, outside. Like a temple, The word of God is upon this prayer. Rekatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakat
Break it, They are tongues of fire. They are tongues of fire. In close, they are tongues of fire. In close, they Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. You must be free. You must be free. You must be free. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. Right now, in the name of Jesus, every spirit, every covenant, every altar, standing on your way, to the next level in the name of Jesus right now I command them to leave you 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 now every spirit holding your destiny every spirit holding your destiny Every spirit holding your destiny, leave them now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus. I'm seeing a sword in the spirit, and on that sword, I see something like a chain. And on the chain is written stagnation in the name of jesus lift your hands you may not even know this affects you at the count of three as you shout jesus many of you will be surprised what will happen to you inside outside online let that spirit that has changed your destiny in one place as you shout jesus i command it to leave are you ready now one two three I command stagnation. Go now. Go now. Apoto Shekete. Go now. Go now. Stagnation. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Stagnation leaves your destiny. Stagnation. It's your life. Hey, para para. Hey, get the get the get the. Hey, get the go to soto balata. Stagnation. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to someone right now whose life has refused to move forward. I don't know who you are, but every time you want to make progress you have dreams and in those dreams you see things holding you sometimes you see chain the lord is asking me to release you wherever you are right now i stretch my hands i set you free i set you free i set you free i set you free, set you free. hallelujah we are still praying they must let you go ladies lift your hands sisters lift your hands i want to pray for you from my heart something is about to leave you now sisters lift your hands every covenant that anyone is under here please hear me knowingly or unknowingly that has tied any lady's destiny right now ta, 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 ta. in the name of jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you and burn that covenant to ashes any ungodly alliance any covenant that has tied your destiny are you ready now ladies one two three shout jesus be free be free, be free, go to take it. Be free, be free, inside and outside. I break it, I break it, I break it, I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift 
your hands. Hallelujah. I saw something fly above. And the Lord said, it's the spirit of death. The plague of death. There are families here. Every year, someone must die. Every Every year, somebody must die. There are families here. Every season, somebody must be sick. I want to end cycles. Death does not just mean cessation from living. Cycles of repetition. Lift your hands, everybody. This one will affect a lot of people. Please open your heart. Hear me. Many of you may not have observed that there are cycles of repetition that happen in families. Cycles of repetition. Lift your hands. The ministry of angels. At the count of three, with all your heart, I want you to shout Jesus and watch what happens to you. Some of you, as you shout Jesus, you will have an open vision, literally, and you will see things that have happened in your family, and God will bring you a word of deliverance. Are you ready now? At the count of three, Father, back up your word. One, two, three. Spirit of death, I arrest you. I arrest you. I arrest you. I arrest you. Circles of death. Circles of death. I arrest you. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Cancel everything. Challenge every spirit. 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 hallelujah 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 we are going to be fast but i'm going to walk around there is a reason why i walk around listen you don't have to touch me but let me tell you as surely as the god of heaven is in this place when i come close to you if there is any spirit that is holding your destiny it must leave you believe me believe me there is an anointing you don't have to make the place rowdy i'm going to walk through this road i will come back here and i'll go outside let's see how much you can do that very fast please let your heart be open you don't have to touch me i'm telling you that any spirit any spirit i stretch my hands here any spirit any spirit, 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 Every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, go, 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 let them go, right now, right now, right now, let them go, every spirit, every spirit, those of you outside here, as I walk through the crowd, get up, any spirit, any spirit, lift your hands.
lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to walk across you. When there is any spirit, that fire right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Every spirit. Every spirit. Every spirit. Every spirit. Every spirit. Every spirit. Right now you must go. 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 Right now. Right now. Every spirit. I down anyone to You must go. of you outside sorry about the sound i'm about to walk here listen you don't have to touch me i assure you by the god of heaven by the anointing of the holy ghost right now right now be free i'm passing your role the anointing is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you be free now be free now as I pass you, God is touching you. God is touching you. God is touching you. Hallelujah. Now there's someone here. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. There is someone in this vicinity. You had a dream three days ago and you saw me praying for you. Three days ago, exactly three days ago. Who is that person? came here the spirit of the lord told me to pray for the person please who is that person let's pray and then the sec don't don't come here please if you are not the person 
the second person i want to pray for there is someone here you've been having severe abdominal pain right here right here you're a lady this pain has been too much right here please who is that person i want to pray for you right now you're the okay stand here i want to pray for you right now you came for a miracle service lift your hands i use them as a point of contact to pray for everybody here anyone here with any strange pain ah look at i look at this lady and i see a spirit go in the name of jesus christ i command that pain to leave right now go right now in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me someone i don't know what it is about this role but there is someone your family has gone through repeated cycles of losses this is financial losses for a while i don't need to bring you god is going to bring you out right now lord whoever that person is right now that's the person i'm talking about a miracle comes for you a miracle comes for you i'm seeing a lady here looks like a small girl you see spirits in the night this is like witches this is what i'm seeing the lord is bringing deliverance for that person right now right now in the name of the lord jesus christ the lord is bringing a miracle for that person right now right now right now who is by the name john there's someone outside here ministering to those outside by the name john 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 who is john please are you john your name is john ah there's another john you are wearing nigerian shirt john you are wearing nigerian shirt is there someone like that do i know you i need to pray for you because i'm seeing something on your head like madness can we have this okay thank you those outside listen in the realm of the spirit whether you are inside or outside believe me when i tell you this it makes no difference the only thing we have to lose you can see i'm talking outside but still touching people inside that's the same i can be inside touching you don't don't think because you are standing far you have a disadvantage of sound but that's the only disadvantage it's not a disadvantage to your spirit are we together look at me where are you coming from from Quara state Quara state for this meeting no i'm a student in abu oh you are a student in abu I'm, i have to pray for you i'm seeing somebody reading and all of a sudden he starts talking like a madman just from academics and this thing i'm seeing is witchcraft i hear what i'm saying I, don't be afraid i'm not a prophet of doom i'm going to pray for you i don't know who is trying to protect anything while you are studying here but in the name of the god of heaven please hear me because while you are studying somebody else is hoping you don't pass but i lay my hands on this gentleman i use him as a point of contact to anyone here whoever has planned anything against you it returns back to them in the name of jesus christ all of you in this overflow this very one please lift your hand sorry again about the sound but i want to don't mind just lift your hands the lord is telling me in seven days please hear me there are five people here in this room in seven days god is going to give their families dramatic breakthrough listen i will not touch you the power of God will locate them right now. One. That's one. Five of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to bring them out. Seven days. I stand under this prophetic and apostolic voice. And I declare miracles. 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 Bring this little girl for me. Bring this little girl for me. Come, sweetheart. Let her not fall here. Hug me. Come. The Lord is saying, I don't know what family this girl comes from, but the Lord is saying he's giving that family favor right now. Favor for this girl's family. Favor for this girl's family. Favor for this girl's family. I'm seeing a final year student here you've written your exams you thought you've graduated but i'm looking now and i'm seeing two courses and the lord is saying we should change it 
I don't know who that person is here this I stand in the name of Jesus the son of the living God and I prophesy as the Lord has spoken to me we change it now we change it now help them we change it now I want you to believe everything God is doing here believe everything God is doing I'm looking at a family of seven people no marriage and God is saying arrest that spirit I'm seeing another family of four ladies no marriage I don't care who wait you don't have to come father I pray I'm standing here it doesn't matter where I stand I'm speaking to everybody right now in the next one minute all those whose family has been tied down maritally fire is coming upon those spirits right now right now right now in the name of Jesus be free be free be free completely free be completely free be completely free the Lord is showing me something I'm looking at this woman and I am seeing your children I know she may not I, I, I don't know if she understands him or not but I'm looking at her and the Lord is saying I should wait with her when it's time to go in I should carry her and meet her two children inside that's what God is telling me that I should carry her someone ask her ah Evelyn 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 and who okay they are inside Evelyn and Mercy hold on because I looked at this woman and the Lord is saying he wants to visit the woman and then the Lord told me that two of her children are inside that when I'm going in I should hold her and take her inside and minister to that family I use this woman as a point of contact you keep hearing me pray and repeating myself is because there are spirits that don't want to let people go they must go tonight Amen. gentlemen look at me look at me tap guy it's your season of breakthrough I know that you hear a word like this and think I'm joking until you hear the testimony it's your season of breakthrough Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ mommy let me talk to you please come the Lord is saying I should tell you you hear how Sama you can speak English no, no, I need to tell you what I'm saying in Hausa. Yes, that he's going to wipe in such a way that you will forget the pain of the past. I don't know who you came with, but I'm prophesying to you. Mama, go and write it. This thing will happen. You will come back with a testimony. See, when a prophetic word comes on you, I want you to know that the end has come. There, there are thousands of people here. If God locates you, don't don't sit down you are doubting is it really god no 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 mama for your children where are they come did you tell me because uh -uh. mama let me talk to you i'm prophesying i need to pray for this person because i am seeing god doing a miracle for him this gentleman huh where is he abuja. he's in abuja yes. what's he doing He's working for somebody and they are not even... Paid. Mama, let me talk to you. That's why I'm talking to you. You see this person? Go and tell him by November a job is coming for him. I will not stand in the open. You are in Zaria here. So it's not like somebody, they ship somebody to come and stage manage. I'm saying it in the open. Go and tell him. My brother, I want to pray for you. There's delay in life. Come and stand here. Someone will look at you and think everything is alright. But if I don't pray for you, will come you will be really frustrated there's a photographer here that things are not working for where are you god wants to change your story i don't know if you're a photographer or something please you see i told us let's cooperate i want us to finish very fast there is a photographer here i'm not guessing you are here things are grounded who are you make sure you are not lying not country you photographer business huh somewhere at north gate at north gate and nothing is happening do you love God? I have to pray for you. Because I'm looking at somebody who stood. You had a quarrel with somebody over snapshot. And the lady cost you. This is what I'm seeing. That lady you see. Uh, well, I'm not. I, I, it's not like I'm indicting people. But that lady you see. It's not everybody you see that is a normal human being. That lady cost you. From that day, things will dry up. You have. It's, it's not like you are careless. But if it takes a person to speak a word of a cause, 
it takes a higher anointing to help you hold my hands return back to your glory i prophesy to you right now in the name of jesus my brother let me pray for you jesus is truly answer you see let me tell you brothers and sisters you can be suffering for decades but when god decides to step in that's the end of it he just helps you it's the lord when he steps in i'm hearing joss joss you came from joss you came from joss you came from joss you came from joss the lord wants to give that person a miracle you came from Jos Kabarota Sipa. Please, if that person is here, let me. Who? Ah, this mama again. We've prayed for mama now. Oh, from Jos. I'm going to pray. Ah, ah, no, now I will pray for her, but no, I'm not saying your state of origin. You came from there, not that. You came from, I know Sarah, I'll pray for you, but there's somebody else I'm seeing. Who is that? Sir, you're welcome. You came from Joe, sir. Are you a family? You too, you came. That is, sir, you came from Joss. Where in Joss? I'm with the University of Joss. You're with the University of Joss. I, I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who has been cheated. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Sir, you came all the way from Joss, University of Joss. You're a lecturer? You're a lecturer with University of Joss. Why am I seeing you not promoted? Well, I changed from I was a lecturer. I changed to the university. The system is not I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray for you because the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that he's stepping into your life and he's giving you a miracle. waste your time sir ah, i'm seeing you writing like i don't know if it's a this is like um uh, like a publication this is what i'm seeing this is a publication and a prof a prof is going to help you and god is going to honor you with that publication no there are many publications to write but you will return back this will happen like a dream the way god is going to wipe your tears praise the lord yes please Here. don't worry daddy i'm going to pray for you we've not prayed for the sick yet are, are, we, are we together i'm going to pray when it's time to pray for the sick i'll lay hands on you yes sir i'm seeing there's a corruption in your blood and god has to cleanse you completely yes so that you will not die don't be afraid of death and be thinking i will die and leave my family Ah, uh -uh. god is life is the same god who was there for you Hallelujah. Sir, just this prophetic word for you that God is going to lift you. I'll come back to you when I'm praying for the sick. We're going to pray for the sick now. My dear, hold my hands. I'm seeing you climb a ladder, Sarah, and the Lord is saying it's time for you to stay on that ladder. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. And the Lord is saying, let her climb and not come down. Therefore, I lay my hands on you and I prophesy that it's a new season in the name of Jesus. There are two ladies inside the main auditorium. The power of God is coming upon them right now. The power of God is coming upon them right now. They are inside. The Holy Ghost is, a, is, a, is like a volcano. It's like an anointing. Two of them inside. The Spirit of the Lord is coming upon them heavily. This is breakthrough that God is bringing. Sir, you wanted to talk to me. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me what the issue is. You understand? If we say that, you see, we will not be able to attend to other people. And it will not be fair. Do we all agree? So, I must not mention your case. Just believe me. Please have the faith that God is going to touch you. I came out like this to encourage us. So that you don't feel I am there. It doesn't matter where you stand. Just for coming to this ground alone, the power of God is there to touch you. Augusta, come. Let me for you. This in you. Come. I have to pray for you. I'm seeing the spirit of death. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can he hear me? Who brought this guy? 
Kanajina, can you hear? I have to pray for you. This is the spirit of death on you. And the Lord is saying, I should set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. And I command that spirit of death to leave you and go forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, I lay my hands on this gentleman. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hold my hands, darling. I, I, is it your sister? Why are you here? You came from Joss too. Where in Joss? To the water. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Where is the mama that was here? Uh-uh. There was another woman who was standing here. Please bring her. Be careful with this, our elderly ones, please. Come, let's walk there. Lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Who is this? Who brought him? What's the situation? The Father is inside. We are going to pray for the sick now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm seeing charm against a family. And the Lord is saying, let it end now. I don't know where that family is. That charm, that charm. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Mama, where are your children? Where are the children of this woman? The Lord gave me a word for them. You should have been ready now. Are they here? Please, so that we move to the next thing. I want us to finish here on time. I want us to finish here on time. Are they here? Where is her sister? Under the anointing. Hold on. Please, I'll just minister to her. We don't have time. Mommy, hold my hands. I look at you, mama, and I'm saying, just leave the children to play. That's all right. If they shout, those ones are children. Let them play. They are receiving something as they are all playing, I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. You. Out of him, now! Mama, I lay my hands on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. What do you want God to do for you? So I want God to give me a child. To give you what? A child. A child? Yes, sir. My God. Your child? I am, am baroness. Mm. Mm. Ah. My God. 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 Mama, how many years? Ah, uh, I cannot say, sir. Go ahead. How many years? There's a reason I'm asking you. Ah, uh, it's long. Can you remember? Since I was born, I have never given birth. Uh, Since you were born, yes, you are sir. married. Yes, sir. You've not given birth. How many years have you been married? Twenty-five years. I prophesy to someone here from the depth of my heart in the name of the God who sent me. I say it. I prophesy from this woman has touched the core of my spirit in the name that is above all names. I place a demand on my office, not my faith. My office, not my faith. My office, not my faith. And I pray in the name of Jesus. 
anyone under any cause whoever plays that cause must die i say it again whoever plays any cause whoever plays any cause i command the ground to open and swallow that person i say it again whoever plays any cause against anyone shake it 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 erek it 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 baroko to pass it it ebro tasata barek it 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 lek it 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 reko to shabariata whoever placed any cause on anyone may the earth open and swallow that person Mama, where is your husband? He's not here. 25 years. You will think, me, I thought that what, this was one of her children. Mama, lay your hands on your stomach. Where is your husband? Not here, sir. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm not asking you whether you have faith. Look at me. Look at my eyes. If you believe I am sent from God, in the name that is above all names, carry your child. Ah! Carry your child. Carry your child. Carry your child. Go and return with a testimony. Mama, hold my hands. I take away sickness from your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for two of you. Hold your hands. Please lift it. Let's hurry up. As I lay my hands on both of you, the grace for supernatural favor, I release it upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to hurry up. Please bring out your prayer request. Pass them to the ushers. While you are doing that, all those who are trusting God for healing. Now is your time. Please come out quickly. I want us to be very, very fast. Don't injure the ones who are already here. It's going to be very, very fast. Now all those outside, listen. Those in the second and third overflow. Bring that girl. Those in the second and the third overflow, that means the overflow by the roadside, they can come in. But those in this first overflow, please stand outside. Those in this first overflow, you can go outside so that we'll save time. So that we'll save time. Let me pray for these people. Promise, come. Uh, Benga, come. Kenny, come. Um, Michael, come. Where's Pastor Femi? Come. I'll lay hands on you people. You go and lay hands on those outside please make sure that the people are healed we are not playing games this is not just formality please come out bring the lady out release her now in the name of jesus i command you spirit it's time for you to go right now in the name of jesus amen let me pray for these gentlemen when i pray for them they are going to go outside don't look at them. Look at the anointing that is upon them. In the name of Jesus, that grace. The anointing, that grace. That grace, that anointing. That grace, that anointing. That grace, that anointing. Please, you go. Just pray for the people outside. And Jimmy, please come. You join me. We'll pray for those here. Now, listen. We are going to be very fast. Please, if we don't ask you what is wrong with you, you don't have to say it. Now, let me do something. Please, if you are elderly here, make your way to the front. Please, if you're elderly, make your way to the front. Our mothers, our fathers, so that I can just lay my hands on them and then they can go back. Please, I, please, some of you that are coming are not elderly. Please go back. If you are elderly, elderly is very clear. If you are elderly, we know. Elderly means you have a grown-up child. Please, please, let's save ourselves any embarrassment. Hallelujah. Worship team, you will lead us through a series of powerful worship. Now, if there are your loved ones who have not sent their request, Please let them do it very fast because I want us to pray here now. Make sure you drop your request. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Father, I pray for these ones. As I pray for you, I don't know what the situation is, but I'm placing a demand by the God of heaven inside and outside that there will be miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. 
amen and amen heal the sick oh god and let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ mama please hold my hand in the name of jesus you're the god of wonders amazing god you're the god of miracles amazing as i pray for you go back to your seat you're the god of wonders Amazing God, this you're the now. God of I miracles. I release destiny. I release. Amazing God, say you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing God, you're the God of wonder. The name of Jesus. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. I mean, you're the God, say, you're the God of wonder. So as they pray for you, just go back and Amazing check yourself. We don't God, have the time for testimonies. You're now. the God of miracles. Amazing. You are God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing. You are God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, you are God, say, you're the God of wonder. Amazing.
up on your feet everyone say after me in the name of Jesus please shout it shout it in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that my request upon this altar must become my testimony say it again I decree and declare that my request upon this altar must become let her go free in the name of Jesus must become my testimony no matter how many I believe that God is able to turn them into testimonies. Now listen, I want you to stretch your hands here. Don't ask God, don't pray. Stretch your hands, mention your request, mention his testimony equivalent. Are you getting the point now? There is barrenness here. I receive my baby. Please, you've heard the testimonies of people. Let me tell you, this is a covenant you see happen. It's not just that we do it. It's something that God said. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Please stretch your hand and begin to call the things that be not as though they were. And watch the God of wonders. Go ahead. I'm releasing my faith with you. Go ahead and pray. <laughs> those online make sure that you follow us we are praying on the request now I don't care what your challenge is I don't care from which part of the world you are streaming and following I want you to know that the God of all flesh we have a covenant of answered prayers in this place and we are praying on your request Father give your people testimonies Give them turn around miracles. Release jobs, oh God. Release marriages, release children. Release ministries, release anointings and mantles and graces. Release revelation from the throne. Release prayer unction. All you can Break habits, break things. That tie down the destinies of your people. The power that was Stretch your hands. It's an act of faith. Sheba kapara toto do brada da. Rekete kete kete bara da bara da bara da bara. Lord, let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. 
for your people to you. We spray these things before you. We spread them before you. Look upon them, O oh God, with your grace and your mercy. Let them stand for our miracles. Supernatural miracles. These are faith in your power. He reigns, he is standing by my side to bring his word to pass. He reigns, he reigns, God is an awesome God. He reigns, he reigns. He is standing by my side to bring his word to pass. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. Our God is an awesome God. Sing it one more time with faith in your heart. He reigns, he reigns. Listen to me. You may be outside, you may be online, it doesn't matter. If you cannot insist, listen, if you are embarrassed to be desperate about your miracle, you do not deserve it. Please hear me. Let me repeat myself. If you are embarrassed and ashamed to be desperate about your miracle, you do not deserve it, sir. You do not deserve it. There must be a desperation. You want the anointing, you don't you don't pursue it passively and carelessly and casually and hope it to come upon your life. No, sir. No, sir. You will seek it like a treasure that is missing. Hallelujah. Tonight I want us to pray. Don't don't look. Faith is not foolishness. This is a factory where God produces miracles. So you, you, you are going to have to trust God. Get angry over what is not working. Give thanks for what is working. But insist. Insist. Let me show you something. Sit down. Let me show you something before we pray. John 15. If you can give it to us. John 15. Let's look at something Jesus said. John 15. Let me show you how passionate Jesus is in us producing results. John 15. We'll read from verse 5. Verse 5 down to 8. Listen, this is what Jesus is saying. I am the vine. Who is the vine? Who is the vine? But he says, ye are the I've taught again the fruits come from the you are the fruit bearing part of me are we together when you come to a tree and you don't find um, um, fruit you don't start insulting the root you look at the branch that's the obvious part now the branch depends on the fine however the branch is the fruit bearing part it displays the beauty and the strength of the root and Jesus says I am the vine the invisible equation the invisible part and then he says you are the branches listen he that abided in me and I in him what will happen please read on the same person will do what bear how much much fruit then he says for without me ye can do nothing we're reading to verse 8 he says if a man abide not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. Seven. 
if ye abide in me uh-huh and my words abide in you ye shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you read verse 8 if you are a christian one two read hearing i want you to change bear much fruit with produce results ready let's read it now hearing is my father glorified that ye produce results so hold on hold on don't rush so by producing results you testify that everything i said in the word you make men believe me when your life produces results so if 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 your life does not produce results men have a right to doubt me are we together because you are the other part of god remember he's the head and you are the body but this is a mystery you don't see that head but the body is a reflection of the quality of the head i always give an an, an, an analogy with with a jimmy's uh, um, child the daughter every time she comes you see her well dressed happy he takes care of her um he loves her but much more than that for his namesake are we together if you see the daughter running around no shoes no nothing you look at him and look at his wife and say why are you people irresponsible nobody blames a child for being a child they blame the parents for not being good parents and so god is saying my testament is under pressure on earth and i am depending on the fruits that you produce when you are healed then that word jehovah rapha now becomes proven in the lives of men nobody can no longer say god is not a good god god wants you to produce results you have to understand this it's not something you have to coerce him he wants it for his namesake it is in his interest praise the lord when i hear that anyone who is part of this ministry is doing well in any area i am happy i feel very proud of them i'm very very happy if you're not doing well i'm there for you but if you're doing well i'm proud of you i'm still proud of you even if you're not doing well but you should do well you have to do well are we together yeah hearing is my father glorified give it to us again that you bear much fruit results you know many people say results don't matter it's a joke what else is the is the yardstick if results don't matter what else don't you know that even loving god and knowing god is results right the dear lady shared a testimony of a brother who was drinking and smoking anything available and now all of a sudden the guy is madly in love with god that's transformation that's results if he goes back to his friends and they say can you taste it as usual he said no 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 i'm a changed person it's not the issue of temptation i am changed transformed by a reality are we together when people who have concluded about you and said sam you will never rise and all of a sudden you rise like an edifice and they say everybody from your village does not rise and all of a sudden you rise pastor alpha ah you won't go anywhere oh. listen do you know i love the way god is he will allow your enemies to finish talking then he'll say let's start proving them wrong one by one by one by one that's what god is doing to someone who has carried his big mouth to talk against your god in this year of triumph god will surprise them do you know listen there are people who scorn at believers happily every time they see people loving god they sit down and discuss them and to a point that some of you are embarrassed your phone rings it's a christian ringtone you, you you off it quickly because you you don't want to shame this god who is disappointing you my god the bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like what damn it will be like a dream he will say no 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 which promise which promise are you talking about they said the one you know he said no no you are you are joking because people stratify us and keep us at a level and don't want us to rise so that their prophecy will be self-fulfilling but then when the god of heaven is ready to pick people up you know i was blessed by the testimony of a gentleman i don't know if he's here the guy in kogi that got a job what a blessed testimony 
all of a sudden god just changed his story look at the lady that god healed of hiv i know some of you think it's a lie this is what we are trying to destroy because if how else do you want to even carry the healing anointing if you are still calculating the physics behind the healing of whatever how did a and b become c you are not a christian because the bible said my sheep hear my voice the voice of another they will not hear this is what makes people to carry news all around thinking every man of god is faking miracles because according to their understanding issue they will not directly come and say we don't believe it but the miracle will happen right before their eyes and they say no 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 it let's let's verify when the devil afflicts you you don't verify it at once you believe it people come and say satan spoke to me he said go and kill yourself why didn't you call us for verification but when god speaks now people you know it just tells you the mindset of people how much people do not believe god please tonight be a believer be a believer don't just stand up don't just lift up hands to receive as though um let's see if god will no god will change your story and beat you beyond your imagination hallelujah one of the things god told me will happen tonight is a dramatic outpouring of the mantle of favor i've been praying do you know listen do you know i don't share too much of my personal experiences but i prayed for one year for the ministry of the gift of men one year one year lord send strategic people to my life koinonia is blessed to have men look we are going to pray for the gift of men you hear me say this thing all the time if a man does not show up in your life you are in trouble you are in trouble or if the wrong person shows up it's still the same thing as as breakthrough not coming because it will not move your life forward one man showing up in your life can say david damn come i i just feel like blessing you you sang a song and i heard and i want to bless you what does it take to produce your album ah oh, sir to produce one song in lagos is two hundred and fifty thousand. he say okay how many tracks do you have 10 and then you are there thinking the man is like you and he's listening to you when you finish he now says this is a check of four million naira please when you do everything let me know and then you leave the man and say so what is the catch he said there is no catch when it is favor there is no catch god will just surprise you and leave you like that somebody will just build a house it's called prepared blessings see if you don't believe in what i'm telling you you can go home honestly because this is what we're going to deal with tonight triumph thanks be to god who causes us always 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 to triumph always to triumph that you come for koinonia empty-handed and as soon as the service is over someone walks to you and say i don't know you but god sent me into your life to say from now till september every month i should be giving you twenty thousand. you don't believe it can happen i hear you are five in your family and your dad is dead your mom is dead from today i become a father in this family simple for starters move out of this place into a two-bedroom flat look let me tell you something it's called quantum leap i'm trusting that god will take us into this dimension david you will do a little experiment eh you will take three steps and then you will jump forward like a frog ready now watch let me show you the difference between progress and a quantum leap are you ready this is progress two three now jump this is a quantum leap i know it's a little analogy but see if you if there is no provision like this your lifetime is too small for you to be successful at the rate humans move you will never build a house till you die at the rate your salary is being paid you will never do anything useful at the rate church services are held you will never know god with the amount of the sermons you need a quantum leap i have witnessed it in my life many people here are witnesses of it where god will just all of a sudden change somebody's story i tell you i feel the anointing as i'm saying this this is what many of us need tonight a quantum leap 
this issue of moving here and there okay thank god you are now employed you are earning forty thousand. let's be sincere let's be sincere in the name of jesus christ who died and rose again in how many years will forty thousand build a house for you now i know many people say it does not matter it matters to any responsible person how much does it take to marry forty thousand the auditorium is how much how much does it take to a child's school fees a child's school fees right now a child who cannot talk the school fees is hundred hundred and something thousand to just teach them how to play and you plan to have five you better listen to what i'm telling you this is why people are, are depressed depressed someone is driving and talking to himself till he dies till he dies because of depression we need a quantum leap Where the grace of God comes upon your life, divine acceleration, triumph, triumph, shaka pataya, triumph by the Spirit. There are ministries that need quantum leaps. If all you do is to invite members through posters, let me tell you the truth get set for empty pews. Please help those under the anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If all you want to do in life is to move like men, men, I'm ready more than ever. Let me tell you, it's like a flight. I've been having an interesting experience with the Holy Spirit in the last two, three weeks. My goodness, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a preparation for a quantum leap. This man you see has gone, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm only saying you better believe God than arise. Don't let anybody tell you, don't listen to him. Run away from them. They won't help you when you are in trouble. You'll be surprised to see how the vicissitudes of life will distract you. All these problems we are solving is to give us space to pursue our assignment. Not to build a house for building's sake. Not to buy a car for buying a car's sake. Not to eat well for whatever it is. So that if you decide to lock yourself in your house to worship God for 24 hours, nobody will call you and say, why are you worshiping God? You can't be in church and someone calls you and says you better come and on the machine on which machine you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because for you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible that we're standing here only because you can listen Brothers, let me talk to you. Do you know right now? Please come. When you see a gentleman like this, do you know if this gentleman is successful, many elders will ask him, what are you doing? In other words, how come your life is this fast? Society has made people's growth rate so slow. If you buy a car at 45, they say, wow, wonderful. You are responsible. But you buy a car at 22 and see people say you're a witch. If they see a young man succeed, you see everybody saying uh -uh, at this life two plus two it doesn't add up god wants to accelerate the kingdom the coming of jesus is near there is a lot we must do for the kingdom listen you can't spend your life looking for money it's a cost it's a cost it's a cost to spend your life looking for what to eat and what to drink you will never serve god that way pray eight hours when you are hungry you are joking you may endure but your children will not endure listen hold on please i want you to pay attention to what i'm telling you you see me preaching from my heart otherwise we'll keep playing games and at the end many christians will backslide pastor jakes they will leave god how many believers do you know 
who are not standing again because the reality of life we said this thing many years people insulted us and said we're noisemakers those people today some of them are not born again they are not even in christ again they've gotten into all kinds of things survival is a cause you should resolve that issue and spend your life serving god if you are a brother here when i say pray please pray pray the sisters can join but brothers you must pray you shouldn't stand and just be leave any man of god thing and cry listen there are some of you as you are listening to me right now there are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them you have your own mother you have your own father and I, how are you going to live that's the cause of depression and then god calls you into ministry no job you want to marry you want to move forward you you must be a joker you must access another mystery brothers and sisters you must trust god for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many and we're standing here only because and we're standing here only because you made a way made a way when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you made a way hallelujah there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning 200,000 but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone I heard of a woman 70,000 naira every week God is my witness they spend on is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of God please koinonia pray pray hallelujah 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 prayer point number two listen listen i want us to break out of cycles tonight are we together i'm going to minister to you but there are people here you are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life nobody rises beyond the level go to school or not it's a pattern you must break don't watch it happen and say it's all right nothing solves itself by itself you must engage it with faith lord this poverty thing 
I've seen it in my family. We are not lazy people, but I'm seeing it come. This lack of being serious with God, lift your voice and break every cycle. Lift your voice and command, exempt yourself. Exempt yourself. Exempt yourself. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years no matter what happens maximum three years one nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage are we together there are some of you listen the mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you whether in business whether anytime there is wickedness you are the only one it happens to it's not a coincidence when they want to scam someone you are the first they find when accident is about to happen is when you are crossing the road the car will hit your leg i like you to pray and say no more i insist i've been keeping quiet about this but tonight i place a demand lift your voice no more no more no more it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing Take it, take it, take it, take it. Lick up a roto sopra para na basha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points before I begin to minister to us. Listen. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself if satan finds what belongs to him in you he's authorized to destroy you we are going to pray and we are going to say lord whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny i apply the blood i invoke the mystery of the blood lift your voice and pray legal access i apply the blood are you praying I apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood on my children. I apply the blood. Pray on my husband, on my wife, on my business, on my ministry, on my job. I apply the blood. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Keep standing, everyone. We are going to pray now. I tell you, I'm angry in my spirit. Luke 18, verse 1. Please, quickly. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Verse 2. There's something I'm looking for. Saying, there was in a city a judge, which feared not God neither regarded man verse 3 and there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying avenge me of my adversary stop there 
God is a God of vengeance. Listen, listen. I know that's the nasty side of God. But the God I serve is not only merciful. God, is, there are people who don't need mercy. They need vengeance. You don't pray if you don't believe it. But let me tell you something. There is a God of vengeance. He said, let God arise. And let all his enemies be scattered. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, avenge I cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life, my family. Koinonia, pray. Arise, Sokoto Pakaya. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against the wicked. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against evil doers. Arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. Hallelujah. Listen. There was a man in the book of Esther called Haman. Have you heard about Haman? That man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God. Not just the Jews. The agenda of God. The apple of his eyes. And then the Bible says through a lot of activities. When that plot was gotten, the king sent. And he said they should go and hang him. He already built a gallow in advance. In advance. We live in a wicked world, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you, it's not all about vengeance, but there is a dimension of it that is necessary. If you must break through, the wickedness of men is beyond imagination. You are going to pray it again. Lord, there are powers that have tied down my life and my family. Arise, O God of vengeance. Arise, O God of vengeance. Arise, O God of vengeance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I was told the story of a woman, Pastor Jakes married a man that god had blessed and then the man died as soon as the man died strangers came from left right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this they stripped that woman to the last of everything banished her and her children to go men they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain no, you rejoice in my pain. The God of vengeance will arise for you. I tell you. Only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, yet I will rise again. How many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends? They lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check. Sign them off. Say destroy them. The Bible says a man's enemies. Listen, listen, listen. Koinonia, I know many of us are young people, but let me tell you, when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility, you will appreciate this prayer. There are men who will kill you and bury you smiling. They will kill you and bury you smiling. When Judas came to kiss Jesus, a kiss is a sign of love correct yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy this is the guy this is how you will kill him how many people kissed you into your suffering today they kissed you with a stupid advice and that's that's what has landed your life today they told you stop tightening. these men of god are crooks they have destroyed your life 
are we together tonight i want us to engage the word to engage the word with your spirit if you insist brothers and sisters god will give you a breakthrough if you insist god will give you a breakthrough are we together now i want you to pray one last prayer and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit lord visit the root cause of my challenges i may not know what it is i only know the effect oh god go to the root he says every tree the axe is placed at the root every tree my father has not planted lord go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life the root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands the root cause Are you praying? Shabakata la bosu, rekete koto shobre gele bala 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 bala. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. If after tonight's meeting you return with a testimony, nobody will ask you to run to the house of God. You will go by yourself. Do you know how many why many people never seek God? The truth is they are tired of lack of results. They are tired of it. Jumping around doing all kinds of things. Yes, you don't love God just for results. But you've heard me say it again at a point in your Christian experience results must come as consolations to your serving God visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus visit us tonight let me make an altar call let's start with the altar call first so that we'll finish right now please everyone standing no moving around outside your attention there are people right here everything we boast of is in Christ if you are not in Christ there is no guarantee please listen very carefully if you are not in Christ there is no guarantee whatsoever are we together now so you are here we are talking about witchcraft you have joined us to pray congratulations but nothing will happen to you until there is a translation because when a man is not in Christ the Bible says he's in the kingdom of darkness the very domain of darkness are we together now so when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith there is a spiritual transfer it is only on that basis you can challenge darkness there are two cate categories of people very quickly I'm going to make the altar call quickly when you come pastor Jax will lead you in prayer and then we'll take over and fly tonight and trust God to take us to a realm where we will never return never return to this level in the name of Jesus you are here and you are saying man of God it's as if you are just prophesying to me you are right it's you I'm speaking to and I'm going to make an altar call one maybe two three minutes wherever you are outside I know there are lots of people you are saying man of God can God forgive me yes he can can God give me a new beginning? Absolutely. No one has made it in my family. You will be the first. If and only you receive him. He says, as many as believed in him, even to them that, I mean, as many as received him, even to them that believed in him, he gave them power to become. Power to become. You do not have the power, but you have the will. And you can choose. Right now, I'm going to make an altar call. Whether you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time, or you want to rededicate your life man of god i gave my life to christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out i will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat give jesus praise please clear the way for them 
there are people running outside let Jesus Christ step into your destiny koinonia can you motivate them appreciate them as they come don't let any friend tell you why you disgracing yourself shame the devil over your life tonight God bless you keep coming man of God you don't know what I've done just make that step of faith and come quickly run to Jesus run to Jesus keep coming keep coming there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to Jesus Every one of us in front, can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of for all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as your hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shared abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's Book of Life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. Thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. Just the moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please. Let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister, a sister or so, someone inside and someone in the overflow outside. The power of God is going to come on that person now. God is bringing a strange deliverance. I'm seeing a strange deliverance. Bring the person one inside, one outside. I just want to speak to them. Please quickly. We have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. 
free now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ free I'm going to pray for you there will be a mighty deliverance right now listen what is deliverance deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life I'm going to pray for you hallelujah lift your hands thank you Jesus. wow I'm already seen in the spirit mighty especially today God is visiting visitors if you are here for the first time God is visiting visitors in a very strange way lift your hands don't say anything just lift your hands just keep your hands lifted please bring them just keep your hands lifted your hands lifted God is touching people it's a foolish instruction but it's what the Lord is telling me just keep your hands lifted like fire is coming on people inside and outside bring them out God is visiting visitors 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 doesn't mean other people are not being touched but particularly visitors Father, spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. There are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives, their destinies, in the name that is above all names whoever under the sound of my voice inside and outside if there is any spirit motivating the tragedies in your life as we shout that name Jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden God will begin ministering to people are you ready now at the count of three one two they must go from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. At the sound of his voice, I command every spirit, I command every devil, strange spirits tying down the destinies of men. I command you right now. There is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. Mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. The power of witchcraft being broken. Being broken. Being broken. God is addressing issues of oppression. Oppression. Shakataya. It must end now. It must come to an end now. It must come to an end now. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay. That's what God wants to deal with right now. God wants to deal with it. You don't need to know whether you belong to the category. The fire of God will locate you right now. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, anyone under the sound of my voice, shakatabakata, under the yoke of setbacks, whether you are a visitor, whether you've been here for a long time, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave you now. I command that spirit to leave you now. The 
know God is touching people. Delay, 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 delay. You are a strange spirit. I curse you by the God of heaven. Delay in destiny. Delay in achievement. that spirit I cost that spirit I cost that spirit bring the mommy out there's a mighty deliverance happening to her delay over your family broken 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 by the spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me a strange instruction. Please, sisters, lay your hands on your womb. Lay your hands on your stomach. Something remarkable is going to happen here right now. There is a kind of deliverance God is doing. I don't know what I'm even doing. But Lord, I pray right now. This is not for everybody. But I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands and I'm going to pray a prayer for you. You'll be surprised. Every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now. One, two, three. Release them now. 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 Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Johnson. Johnson. I'm hearing a name. Johnson. 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 We are still praying, please. Johnson. My God. I tell you, I see this fire falling on sisters. I don't know what it is with ladies. God is, God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies serious deliverance to ladies hallelujah hallelujah you are here in this place listen you never rise beyond a certain level it's not that you don't start please listen carefully i'm speaking by the spirit the moment is like there is a spiritual embargo you get to that height you must crash down wherever you are i'm prophesying now and i'm praying for you the power of god is looking for those people the power of god is looking for those people you rise to a level and fall you rise to a level and fall lord in the name of jesus inside and outside wherever you are i release that fire like a messenger to your life like a messenger to your life i cause that witchcraft now i cause that witchcraft now hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision my God, hold on. I'm seeing deliverance for children. Like little children. The power of God is coming on small children in this place. I'm seeing children being delivered. Some initiated into occultism. 
some initiated into this let's just walk the way god is father in the name of jesus i speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation wherever they are don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting now wherever they are inside and outside i'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft occultism any kind of initiation if there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage i set them free now i set them free now hallelujah hallelujah my friend lift your hands that gentleman going tap him Hi. there is hardship in your family and the lord is asking me to curse it right now in the name of jesus i cause hardship let the anointing of the spirit come on you now i curse that spirit the spirit of hardship i curse you now i curse you now i curse you now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen if you are here and you have any blood disease just blood disease any kind any kind blood related issue lay your hand on your chest i want to pray for you right now blood related issue genotype whatever it is um, or any kind of thing maybe any sickness that is blood related please i want to pray for you right now the lord is giving me that instruction very quickly I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a lady who is AS. God is about to change her genotype now. 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 A dramatic change of genotype from AS to SS. From AS to AA by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah please if you come from a family where no one in your family is working lift your hands nobody no job nobody just please just do what i'm asking you to do let's save time just lift your hands nobody at all is working no matter what happens just lift your hands i want to pray for you lift your hands i want to pray for you jesus 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 i'm i'm looking at hands lifted and and for some of the hands i'm seeing like a rope this is not necessarily you this is a representation of your family and i want to pray for you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands get ready for the power of god right now wherever you are even those who didn't lift their hands i decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now right now right now right now right now i release them i release them i release their jobs i release their jobs by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we end joblessness here right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people. One seven, one seven, one seven. At the count of four, this is the instruction God gives me unusual access to illumination lord where are they inside and outside one ta -ba -ta 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 -ta. two three strange illumination four take it now take it now the spirit of revelation 
uncommon access to the secrets of the kingdom uncommon access 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 i release it in the spirit access 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 hallelujah please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come god is going to use you come come and stand here lift your hands stand up in the name of jesus i don't know you ah huh? but an anointing will come upon your life today and god is going to change your life like day and night receive that grace right now strange grace step into that dimension that dimension there are impartations going on now let's just receive the impartations impartations not healings not healings impartations impartations i release the gifts of the spirit right now right now i release the gifts of the spirit lord stir up the fountain stir up the waters stir up the waters i release the gifts of the spirit strange gifts strange gifts strange manifestations of power of power healing anointings healing anointings i activate healing anointings right now healing anointings step into it step into it outside inside step into it god is releasing mantles mantles of healing ancient mantles of healing ancient mantles grace for barrenness grace for barrenness grace for barrenness healing barren cases hallelujah hold on i'm still praying i'm still praying god wants to release the healing anointing let's just stay here with this healing thing god wants to release there are many more people i'm not seeing them receive it yet father you want to release this grace there is such a grace as the healing anointing i pray for you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado may the power of god come on you now everyone everyone everywhere men women take it take it take it fire upon your spirit Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come thy will be done Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come I don't know how we are going to manage this now ushers there is a prophecy for you the lord says i should tell you from now as you hold people and as you shake them there will be a transference on every one usher i'm prophesying now that's why i say i don't know what we'll do ushers ushers receive that mantle receive that mantle a strange healing grace coming on our ushers supernatural supernatural the unction take it take it where you are let that fire come upon you upon ushers in a strange way upon ushers in a strange way the grace for the miraculous no longer will you just hold people no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats you release strange mantles. Hallelujah. We'll soon pray for the sick. But please everyone lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to pray. I'm seeing people here. The anointing for business and entrepreneurship. Just keep your hands. That's why, please keep your hands. I want to pray for you. 
Don't say I'm not called into a businessman. That's none of your business. Just listen to what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. Is a grace. Is a grace. I believe maybe in the course of the service, we'll call a Jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly, truly upon your life. Lift your hands. Brothers and sisters, there is a grace for the marketplace. You don't go there through desire. It's not that you are a, mon a money monger, you just go. But strange ideas, strange insight. Do you know, I'm seeing a number 4 and 1, 41. This will affect many people inside and outside. Whether you are a businessman or not, it's not what I'm asking you. That grace will locate you where you are. A grace for the marketplace. Lord, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, all the overflows online, anyone here who must step into that grace, whether you know anything about the marketplace or not, take that grace now. Take that grace now. I release it. Supernatural access. Access. Access to business strategies. Access to ideas. Take it right now. Receive it, receive it. It's coming on people. Receive it, receive it. Receive it, it's coming on you. So that you will go and prosper. 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 There is a woman, one of our mothers, this grace that I'm talking about is coming on you now. Now. One of our mothers, one of our mothers is receiving that grace. God is releasing that grace. Whether you are inside or outside, whoever it is, I release that grace now. There is a woman I'm seeing in the spirit. You must take that grace now. You must take that grace now. Uncommon ability. Uncommon ability. Uncommon insight. For the works of your hands to begin to produce fruit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Look at me. Please help them. How many of you are trusting God to restore something that has left your life? It can be anything. How many of you are trusting God? I want to release that grace now. And I want you to believe it. Some of you had destiny help us. But something happened and they left your life. Some of you had quality relationships. But it left your life. Some of you had finances. But it left your life. Some of you even had certain levels of graces. The Lord is asking me to prophesy restoration Kai, this is going to land on people's head i'm saying this thing there are physical gifts you used to see in your life not gifts of the spirit not just gifts of the spirit gifts gifts endowments for some reason it disappeared some of you are actually worshippers singers but that grace left is coming back is coming back Kapotaya. I invoke the grace that he has put upon my life. I prophesy strange restoration. I call it by name and I command it back to your life. I call it by name. Everything you once were that you now are not, I command you to become it now. I command you to become it now. I release that grace. I release that grace receive it I release that grace I release that grace hallelujah now listen listen there are some of us hear me you have been doing certain things but the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life this is a very serious prayer I want to pray for you you have been doing business with the brain of a money monger but not the grace for the marketplace you have been singing 
only with the voice of a musician but not the spirit of david i want to release the anointing of your office the anointing that has to do with your function please i want you to believe what i'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing i know you are working you want promotion is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i wanted to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two two three receive that grace now take it take it grace grace for your academics grace for the ministry grace the words you speak turns things around help me But she's a God that held me back. I want to celebrate God Jesus in this place. Hey! Hey! Oh, he's a Yadu. Oh, You're the God of all the wonders. I taste it of your power. hallelujah hallelujah please i'm seeing something happening here right now there are people who are receiving grace for speed and they will start running physically hold them hold them so they don't injure people i release the grace you won't control yourself physically running speed physically i release that grace now receive grace for speed receive grace for speed right now right now i command you to run run in the spirit catch up catch up catch up by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i release speed i release speed i release speed speed to your life speed to your destiny speed to your life speed to your destiny your life speak to your destiny the words you speak come things around your arms run like Elijah run like Elijah you took away the chain Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now we are going to be very fast about this. Number one. Number two. Please.
least if you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones please i permit you put on your phone and call them tell them to send it as a text message write it we are going to be praying here tonight and we are going to be asking the fire of god to fall on request don't assume if you have not written it no problem settle down think well and write you are here you are trusting god for healing i understand there are a few sick people that they brought around please we are going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there i'm here pastor jakes is here um we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here a jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord Ejimi, please you help us Ejimi will be outside here and pastor jakes will be down outside there praise the lord benga you go with pastor jakes you will help pastor jakes outside um pastor alpha you'll be outside just help them and then um who is around again is Femi around okay so you can just come and help me here so let's do it that way very fast very very fast if there are more people there are promises here michael is here so maybe you can add one okay promise just follow promise follow pastor jakes michael follow a jimmy please let's do it very very fast while hold on please don't be distracted don't cut the flow we are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray and then i'll speak over your life many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated don't be distracted i expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit hallelujah for those stationed at different points whether at the back any of the overflows i'd like you to believe god for a miracle right now believe god for a miracle you can see someone like our daddy he has come with his crutch believing god to walk you believe you walk sir you believe the lord will heal you so get ready to walk you see there are people stationed around we are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him who came with our daddy you came by yourself sir came by myself by yourself from where sir first station here you cannot walk i can move with you this walking stick which but of the legs has a problem this is the leg this is stroke yes can you lift it no i can't i can't lift the, leg. the hand i can't lift hold it. on look at this sir look at me you believe in jesus i believe you believe in the power of I jesus believe. lord i introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now in the name of jesus christ huh the lord will begin to touch you your hands everything is already dead sir lift your leg lift your leg just do what i'm asking you to do lift your leg just lift it lift your leg lift your leg start try to walk gently come come try to walk gently come give me the stick look at me look at your stick come Don't be afraid, come. Lift your leg. Look at this. Look at what is happening to this man. Came with this stick. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this.
God is doing a very remarkable miracle for him. Find him. Find a chair and just keep him. Let him sit down while the power of God touches him. Sir, you came here by yourself. Um, trust him. Okay, and the boy has gone. Okay, he's somewhere. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God you believe has begun this miracle. You will perfect it. Look for a stick for him there. Hold your stick by yourself and go. Don't put it on the ground. Hold it up. Walk by yourself and go. Give Jesus praise. Look at God. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone is still sick here. Someone is still sick here. I'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out from me. Someone is still sick here. No, 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 no. I'll pray for you. But I'm saying, I feel it within this vicinity from ministers go down, choir. Someone is sick. Come, let me pray for you. you came out. Lift your hands. Jesus. Someone is sick here. Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth. Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. Your elder brother has a case. I may not be able to mention the case. This is a health-related case. But this is a challenge with married people. This has affected, it's one of the worst things that can happen to a man in marriage. And the Lord is bringing a miracle right now. Right now. Elder brother, supernatural miracle is coming to that person by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hi. You are holding her, but something is leaving her to you now you who is holding her something is leaving her to you there is there is virtue i see a transference of grace from a jimmy's wife to you you are doing your work as an usher but you have received something very strange and very powerful you see let me tell you something if if you do not you see hold on walking in the anointing is more than having it having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing if not you will be anointed but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing it's like a man shooting anyhow you must have discernment many people think all it takes once you can speak and someone falls they say i am anointed what do you know about the anointing the anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody it must accomplish something this you need more discernment than even the anointing the substance the ability to look at for instance like these people who have been touched now you are an anointed man of god you are finished pray you go to the next thing you see insensitivity in the spirit this is not guesswork if you are guessing you will not see the results like this it's not it's not guessing so please learn it i know that this is a place where we value the anointing and there are many of you you are waiting for me to prophesy release impartation after this now it's not it's not just about holding people ah hold this lady hold Mukhtar's wife an anointing is coming on her please hold her her and Mata, two of them there is i don't know what it is but i'm seeing i don't know why god is doing this thing a strange God, 
God is giving two of them strange favor. Strange favor. I see strange favor. Strange favor. America, God is giving you access. I'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head. And God is saying he's giving you strange access. Strange access. Strange access. Strange access. Strange access. Muas, God is giving strange favor. Strange favor. Strange favor. Hallelujah. I don't know what I'm saying, but this is a word for someone. And the Lord is saying, why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year? Why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year? This is the word of the Lord. Why make it next year? This is a word for many people when I've destined it to be this year. As I speak to you, the word is for you. The power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. It's the year of triumph. It's the year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. My God. Shaka parado hallelujah there is a lady here you have been disappointed with god right now you actually came help the ushers you came expecting that i would directly call your case and you 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 prayed this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and i didn't call your case the power of god is coming on you now now as a sign that god had you. Now, wherever you are, he's locating you now. Now. I command that spirit to leave you. I see you in the spirit. Go now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I stretch my hands now and I command by the power of the Holy Ghost let her go now peace to your spirit every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you right now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah pastor Jake is still praying outside okay we can just do it this is a blessing there are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss ah, there is i mean god is just doing certain things it's like something is really happening don't worry about what is happening impartations god see let me tell you right now if the anointing comes on you just know that is the answer to your prayer this is not a special once the anointing comes on you just know that your prayer has been answered you understand this is what it doesn't mean if they are not if you don't fall down it's not answered i'm not saying that but i'm saying this is how god is choosing to confirm to some people now as i'm talking that your prayer no matter how difficult it is no matter how difficult your prayer is hallelujah praise the lord now everyone Please stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. Please, Pastor Jakes, come. What do you mean? Please, okay, he's writing something. Just stretch your hands here and pray. And pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost from the depth of your heart. Stretch your hands. Shakatopakata. Leketeketekete. Stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. No, Liva, pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Prophesy in the Holy Ghost. Shake it to go to to get up. Rakata kata makata. So poto so pekete tete. Miracles, oh God. 
testimonies, oh God. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. Visit impossible situations. I tell you, God is moving. I see a cloud. I see a cloud over this prayer request. That's what I see in the spirit. God is moving upon it. Moving upon it. Moving upon it. The spirit of God is moving over the prayer request. Visiting families. Releasing angels. Releasing angels. Visiting the request. I'm seeing the cloud of God's presence. Visiting the prayer request. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministry spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven now in the name of Jesus. The heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily in the name of Jesus. It has been decreed, it has been ratified. And it is done in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask, above all that we imagine, is done in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we have decreed. On, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus mighty praise. Hallelujah. Please say to me, still come. Pastor Jake's come. I just feel like doing this is, I, I don't always do this, but I want to prophesy over your lives. And in the name of Jesus, they are my friends. But the Lord is telling me to speak over their lives. They are great men of God in power. But in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying I should prophesy the next dimension. To prophesy a new level. And in the name of Jesus, I speak it. Step into a new dimension. A Jimmy, God is saying I should release grace for access. I command that grace. Strange access. Strange access. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Strange access. Gifted men coming into your life connections with gifted men in the name of jesus and pastor jakes god is giving you influence strange influence strange influence strange influence strange influence is a very strange apostolic dimension of influence lord i pray in the name of jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are i bring them into this experience now 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 wherever they are i prophesy to tosin wherever she is and i speak to hope you are one so i prophesy as it happens to you i bring your wives into this experience in the name of jesus 
strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once i spotted lizzie somewhere one of the oldest year nine lady come she came in from abuja part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way and the lord is saying i should prophesy a release i told you about ladies who used to climb trees when this ministry started no money no nothing they were in welfare they were in worship team at the same time they would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades and the lord is saying i should pray and prophesy and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the lord father in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now over lizzie and lord jesus i prophesy i prophesy according to the word that you are giving me i open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter shabaka toto barekete zat kaska paskata paskate pash legete to soto prendeke skobaria da balaraba a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter and as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter in the name of jesus a new chapter listen i prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah please lift your hands we're rounding up who is this girl come you god has chosen to visit you come come and stand here god is wiping your tears this prayer i'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny i lay my hands upon you and i command the gates to be open now i stood there and i saw you and the lord said i should open that gate i lay my hands upon you i command the gates to be open be open right now be open right now in the name of jesus christ be open right now we're rounding up we're rounding up please this lady with uh, yellow blue you come I don't know you but the Lord is asking me to pray for you lift your hands this is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings I lay my hands and I remove the embargo from your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ I command uh -uh. I'm praying for you but I'm seeing my hand on you I'm praying for you but I'm seeing my hand on you Jesus, please visit them. Strange visitations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strange visitations. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. I just saw a door open. And I saw a name come out. Listen. I saw a name come out. And I saw the Okalo family. The Okalo family. This is Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. God is visiting your people. All three of you. Step into that grace. I open that door now. The Okalo family. Step into that grace. Open, 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 open. I open that door. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down. Whatever has covered your glory, 
I speak it right now in the name of Jesus let it be open 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 I unveil your glory I unveil your glory I unveil your glory Shaka ta 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 I unveil your glory I unveil your glory Tonight is a strange night Please receive every prophetic word That I'm going to pray for you Ah Just allow me to do one more thing The spirit of God I have not seen this in a while I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria and I see Benway State the Spirit of God is going to Benway right now right now touching people you know how it happens when I speak Benway Benway miracles locate them now oh God people from Benway Benway strange grace strange grace I break witchcraft Benway I'm seeing Benway hallelujah hallelujah i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right i'm seeing i know o to go but i'm seeing the o a a at the is there a place like that or to bar or something the power of god i'm seeing that going to that area the lord is bringing a miracle ends with an a whoever comes from that region in the name of jesus breakthrough 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 strange breakthrough strange breakthrough Benway 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 I don't know why God is doing this but I'm prophesying it may the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place hallelujah I'm seeing another name on the map Emo 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 where are they oh God Emo 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 State Emo state, the anointing of the spirit locates them now strangely. Matato Sotota, Emo state, miracles, miracles, breakthroughs, signs, wonders, miracles, miracles to Emo state by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. If you are from Cross River, Cross River, Calabar, something is happening right now. Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, help her, help her, please. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone the ministry of signs and wonders let me talk to you my dear this lady looking at me you come the Lord has located you today come lift your hands the Lord says I should tell you for shame he's bringing laughter to your life for shame he's bringing laughter to your life for shame he's bringing laughter to your life for shame He's bringing laughter to your life. Lift your hands. We're rounding up. You've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the anointing flows through me to you. And I know when the anointing is heaviest. It's only because many of us are already used to some of these things. And so you think when these things are happening... You don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations. I want to pray for you. Please receive everything I pray for you. Every age-long challenge, every challenge that has refused to leave, I prophesy upon it right now. I command that it comes to an end in your life now. Now, now, that fair lady, come. This lady, Diana, run, come. Lift your hands, I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus, listen. 
whatever has brought shame and dishonor like a stigma to your life I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus my dear look at me I saw you inside a cave and I'm surprised because we've paid for, for deliverance prayer and I saw you inside a cave you are just trying to push the door that's why I asked you to come out let me I don't know you do I know you where did you come from where where is that Aaron? Yes, Zaria. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough. Two things. God is going to throw somebody out of your life. Mm. I'm not a prophet mm. of doom, but it will happen. Mm. He will reach three days. Mm. Huh? Throw mm. completely so that you can move forward. Mm. I hold your hands in the name of Jesus. Every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need to love Jesus with all your heart. Right? You are a nice person, but your relationship with Jesus, you, you can get teachings after this, but I want to prophesy on your life. God is taking somebody, not death, oh, just driving somebody out, an unwanted person out of your life. I prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen. I lay my hands on you and I provoke the heavens to release that favor for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over every family represented here whether your nuclear family your extended family hold on I don't know what has gone wrong but in the name of Jesus within now and miracle service match dramatic turnaround for families dramatic turnaround for families dramatic turnaround for families in the name of Jesus one of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers I want to pray for you I don't know where they are but one thing I know is they never come on their own they are called by prophecy I prophesy to the north I prophesy to the south I prophesy to the east I prophesy to the west the helper of your destiny I command them to appear now I command them to appear now I command them to appear now I command them to appear now, them appear now. hallelujah come come and hold my hands congratulations I'm seeing a job this is what I'm seeing I'm seeing a very good job and the Lord is saying I should congratulate you look at me you will stand here and testify before the people of all the Holy Ghost said I should tell you is congratulations and I hold your hand in the name of Jesus Christ may it come to pass I decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God in one month 30 days I stand here under the unction of the Holy Ghost. 30 days, beginning from today, step into those results. Step into those results. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Step into those results. Step into those results. Strange dimensions of results. Hallelujah. Whoever has despised you, whether to your knowing, or not to your knowing I pray may God put them on the scene as he lifts you may they watch your rising as God honors you I pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down prayer life down your praise and worship life down fasting down word life down in the name of Jesus Christ I activate fresh grace receive it fresh grace fresh fire outside receive it fresh grace fresh fire fresh grace hallelujah wherever your prosperity is I pray 
May, listen, listen. Hagar carried Ishmael and they were roaming around the desert. They said there was no water. But when an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw water. That you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there. I open your eyes to see where God has anointed to bring you financial blessings. I open your eyes in the name of Jesus. I open your eyes to see where God has placed your prosperity. Hallelujah. The plague of death that is looming around this nation looking for people and families is listen it's like a graph it rises then sometimes it relaxes i'm praying whoever calls your name i'm prophesying this all whether in the secret or the open to invoke death upon your life i command the earth to open and swallow them I command the earth to open and swallow them. Whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you, may misery follow them. The Esther anointing, the unction and the grace, that granted Esther uncommon access in the presence of Ahasuerus Shababa Satalakata in the name of the Lord Jesus I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now take it I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny hallelujah two more prayer points and we're done hallelujah listen listen many of us do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection listen i want to pray something that is very powerful in your life listen when you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you it's a cause are you hearing what i'm saying now the bible says defend you in the day of trouble there are many of us if for any reason things go wrong in your life you are in trouble there is nobody that can arise as a defense but i'm prophesying to you right now in the name of jesus christ whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors i call them forth right now in the name of jesus may god raise men to be a wall of defense for you in this wicked um wicked state that we are living right now in this country people say if you don't have anybody and honestly speaking somebody can get up and come and seize your land you and your land and your paper they will collect it because there is no defense i'm prophesying again quarter to shame May God raise a defense for you. And finally, I want to pray the prayer of Jabez for you. Many of us, ha, many of us have not studied. Honor is not money. Listen, listen. There are many rich people with no honor. Are we together? There are many well-to-do people with no honor. Do you know what honor is? honor is when god anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation so for every one person who talks nonsense there are thousands honor jabez said oh that the mother bore him in sorrow you brought shame for me so i call you jabez honor is more than money brothers and sisters the bible says a good name is better than riches i pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of God has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all names for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that mantle right now take that mantle right now they don't have to know you but strangers will come to feed your flock receive that grace for honor hallelujah Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him.
wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him. Wave your hands. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We lift our hands to the great Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.